Hey, hey. Show. <coughs> en Ipcut, ¿cómo están? Oh, se puede ver el micrófono. Ni chequeé la cámara ni nada, ni que vería. I didn't even realize what I was going to see. So I'm going to read. But let's wait for people. <laughs> There's no one here. Vamos a cambiar de canción. A ver qué es esto. Qué raro. Está como que fallando esa cosa. Downloads. Template. <laughs> Está bonito. Hey, Adolfo, come with the bomb. Hey, hey, we was here, no sé. The idea is leer. I have no mouth and I must scream. Le voy a leer en español, pero creo que la voy a leer en inglés. Quisiera ver cómo, para ver qué tanto qué palabras que usó so este cuate Harlan. So I don't know. <laughs> Mira que bonito. <laughs> Está muy bueno esto. Mm. Um, lo voy a checar en Twitch. Si ¿Sí puedo cambiar una cosa aquí.
A lo mejor así funciona mejor. Read. I'm just gonna start reading. I want to read this story. <coughs> so, if you excuse me, let's go. Let's see which one would be nice for this. This one. Hmm. Okay. Let's read this story. <laughs> Ahí está. Cuatro. Estos cuatro. Okay. So. I have no mouth, and I must scream, by Harlan Ellison. Rest in peace, you you amazing crazy bastard. <laughs> nah, he wasn't crazy, he was pretty, uh, I don't know, down to the ground. Really cool guy. Let's read. Limp, the body of Gorister hung from the pink palette, unsupported. Hanging high above us in the computer chamber, and he did not shiver in the chill, oily breeze, and blew eternally through the main cavern. The body hung head down, attached to the underside of the pallet, and by the sole of its right foot, it had been drained of blood through a precise incision made from ear to ear under the lantern jaw. There was no blood on the reflective surface of the metal floor. When Gorister joined our group and looked up at himself, it was already too late for us to realize that once again Am had duped us. He had had its fun. It had been a diversion on the part of the machine. Three of us had vomited, turning away from one another in a reflex as ancient as the nausea that had produced it. Gorister went white. It was almost as though he had seen a voodoo icon and was afraid of the, the future. Oh god, he mumbled and walked away. Three of us, three of us followed him after a time, and found him sitting with his back to one of the smaller, shittering banks. His head in his hands, Ellen knelt down beside him and stroked his hair. He didn't move, but his voice came out of his covered face quite clearly. Why does it just do us in and get it over with? Christ, I don't know how much longer I can go on like this. It was our 109th night year in the computer. It was our 109th year in the computer. He was speaking for all of us. Nimdoc, which was the name the machine had forced him to use because Am amused itself with strange sounds. Oh, so that's why. 
was hallucinating that there were canned goods in the ice caverns. Corister and I were very dubious. It's another shock, I told him. Like the goddamn frozen elephant Amt sold us. When he almost went out of his mind over that one. We'll hike all, the, all that way and it'll be putrefied or some damn thing. I say forget it, stay here. I'll have to come up with something pretty soon or we'll die. You'll have to come up with something pretty soon or we'll die. Benny shrugged. Three days it had been since we'd last eaten. Worms, thick, ropey. Nimdog was no more certain. He knew there was the chance, but he was getting thin. It couldn't be any worse there than here. Colder, but that didn't matter much. Hot, cold, hail, lava, boils, or locust. It never mattered. The machine masturbated and we had to take it or die. Ellen decided us. I've got to have something. I've got to have something, Ted. Oh, it's her. Hi. Hey, Medina. Oh, wow. What a miracle. You're here. I haven't seen you in a while here. I visto un buen rato por acá. Qué chido. Qué genial. Cómo te va. Estoy leyendo la historia de I have no mouth and I must scream. Y apenas, apenas empecé. Es la primera hoja. Apenas va de que están diciendo que Am, la computadora, los ha estado torturando. No han comido nada y dicen hay que ir por algo de comer, hay que buscar. A lo mejor encontramos algo, no hemos comido en días. Y la máquina al parecer pues, los ha estado sí, torturando. Ya son los 109 años. Es diferente al juego este inicio. O sea, sí es como de que ellos han estado libres dentro de la computadora. Digo, de sí, del... ¿Quién sabe qué diablos? Está, está loco eso. Entonces, eh, sigamos leyendo. Ah, esta no es la cama. <ríe> Se me va que es el... Este número. And Ellen decided us. I've got to have something, Ted. Maybe there will be some bartled peas or, or peaches. Please, Ted, let's try it. I gave in easily. What the hell? Matter not at all. Ellen was grateful, though. Huh? Déjame ver qué dices. ¿Dónde está mi actor? Justo tiempo y tuve chance de andar por acá. <ríe> Suena súper interesante. Sí, tú ya no viste nada del juego, ¿verdad? De, de todo el... De todo lo que estaba eh, jugando de otra vez. Uh. Estuvo bueno, estuvo, me gustó mucho el juego. Estuvo chido. Uh, ok. Déjame voy a pasar esto mejor por acá. Uh -huh. Este, vamos a ver. Ay, güey. Sí, se deja. Ahí está. Uh, ¿Dónde me quedé? <coughs> ah, ok, acá. Ellen was grateful, though. She took me twice out of turn. Oh, han tenido... Ah, esto no está en el juego. Han tenido sexo. They, they've been having sex. In the game, you, you don't see that. <laughs> She took me twice out of turn. Even that had ceased to matter. And she never came, so why bother? But the machine giggled every time we did it. Loud up there, back there, all around us. He snickered. It snickered. Most of the time I thought of Am as it. Without a soul. But the rest of the time I thought of it as him in the masculine. The paternal, the patriarchal. For he is a jealous people. Him, it. it. God has daddy the deranged. Luego me aviento el maratón del juego en tu canal. Ah, sí, estaría bien. Estuvo chido. Y no me lo eché tan lento. Me fui bastante rápido. Fuertes declaraciones. Sí. We left on a Thursday. The machine always kept us up to date on the date. The passage of time was important. Not to us, sure as hell, but to him. It. Um. Thursday. Thanks. Wow, como que están todos... They are... Uh, he is losing his mind, this poor guy. He's dead. I am... Uh, like, I, uh, one of the characters. I, I, I am Ted in this story. In the game, you play as, as each one of them. Nimdok and Gorister carried Ellen for a while. 
their hands locked to their own and each other's wrists a seat. Benny and I walked before and after, just to make sure that if anything happened, it would catch one of us and at least Ellen would be safe. Fat chance safe didn't matter. It was only a hundred miles or so to the ice caverns. And the second day, when we were laying out under the blistering song thing, he had materialized. He sent down some mana. Ah, mana! <laughs> it's food. It tasted like boiled boar urine. We ate it. On the third day, we passed through a valley of obsolence. Filled with rusting carcasses of ancient computer banks, and had been as ruthless with its own life as with ours. It was a mark of his personality. It strove for perfection. Where it was a matter of killing of unproductive elements in his own world, filling bulk, or perfecting methods of torturing us, and was as thorough as those who had invented him, now long since gone to dust. Could ever have hoped. Ah, uh, though as those could ever have hope. Okay, okay, okay. There was light filtering down from above, and we realized we must be very near the surface, but we didn't try to crawl up to see. There was virtually nothing out there. Had been nothing that could be considered anything for over a hundred years, only the blasted skin of what had once been the home of billions. No, there were only five of us down here inside, alone with Anne. I heard Ellen saying frantically, No, Benny! Don't! G come on, Benny! Don't! Please! And then I realized, I realized I had been hearing Benny murmuring under his breath for several minutes. He was saying, I'm gonna get out! I'm gonna get out! Over and over. But he was murmuring, so, I'm gonna get out! I'm gonna get out! <laughs> over and over. His monkey-like face was scrambled up in an expression of, Beatific delight and sadness all at the same time. The radiation scars Am had given him during the festival were drawn down into a mass of pink-white puckerings, and his features seemed to work independently of one another. Perhaps Benny was the luckiest of the five of us. He had gone stark, staring mad many years before. But even though we could call Am any damn thing we liked, could think the foulest thoughts of fused memory banks and corroded base plates or burned out circuits and shattered control bubbles, the machine would not tolerate out uh, it would not tolerate our trying to escape. Benny leaped away from me as I made a grab for him. He squatted there for a moment, looking like the chimpanzee I had intended him to resemble. Ah, oh, poor Benny. <laughs> Uh, then he leaped high, cogged a trailing beam of pitted and corroded metal and went up it. Hand over hand like an animal, till he was on a grittered ledge, twenty feet above us. Oh, Ted, Nimdok, please help him get him down before... She got off. Their tears began to stand in her eyes. She moved her hands aimlessly. It was too late. None of us wanted to be near him. When whatever was going to happen, happened. And besides, we all saw through her, her concern. When Am had altered Benny during the machine's utterly irrational, hysterical face, it was not merely Benny's face the computer had made like a giant ape's. He was big in the privates. She loved that. She surfaced us as a matter of course, but she loved it from him. Oh, Ellen, pedestal Ellen, pristine, pure Ellen. Oh, Ellen, the clean scum. Filth. Wow, he's losing. The, oh my god. Gory stare slapped her. She slumped down, staring up at poor Looney Benny, and she cried. It was her big defense, crying. We had gotten used to it 75 years earlier. Gory stare kicked her in the in, in, Gory stare kicked her in the side. Tsh, wow. Then the sound began. It was light, that sound. Half sound and half light. Something that began to glow from Benny's eyes and pulse with growing loudness. Dim sonorities that grew more gigantic and brighter as the light sound increased in tempo. It must have been painful 
and the pain must have been increasing with the boldness of the light, the rising volume of the sound. For Benny began to mew like a wounded animal. At first softly, then the light was dim and the sound was muted. Then louder as his shoulders hunched together, his back hump as though he was trying to get away from it, his hands folded across his chest like a chipmunk's, his head tilted to the side. The sad little monkey face pinched in anguish. Then he began to howl as the sound coming from his eyes grew louder, louder, louder. I slapped the sides of my head with my hands, but I couldn't shut it out. It cut through easily, the pain shivered through my flesh like tinfoil on a tooth. And Benny was suddenly pulled erect. On the grider, he stood up, jerked to his feet like a puppet. The light was now pulsing out of his eyes. In two great round beams, the sound crawled up and up some incomprehensible scale, and then he fell forward straight down and hit the plate steel floor with a crash. He lay there jerking spastically as the light flowed around and around him, and the sound spilled up out of normal range. Then the light beat its way back inside his head, the sound spilled down, and he was left lying there, crying piteously. His eyes were two soft, moist pools of pus like jelly. Am had blinded him, Gorister and Imdog and myself. We turned away, but not before we caught the look of relief on Ellen's warm, concerned face. Sea green lights fused the cavern where we made camp. And provided punk, and we burned it, sitting huddled around the one and pathetic fire, telling stories to keep Benny from crying in his permanent night. What does what does that mean? Gorister answered him. We had done this sequence a thousand times before, but it was Benny's favorite story. At first it meant a light master computer, and then it meant adaptive manipulator. And later on it developed science sentience and linked itself up and they call it an aggressive man so by then it was too late and finally it called itself am um, emerging intelligence and what it mean and what it meant was i am cogito ergo sum i think therefore i am and he drooled a little and snickered. There was the Chinese am, and the Russian am, and the Yankee am, and... He stopped. And he was beating on the floor plates with a large hard fist. He was not happy. Gorister had not started at the beginning. Gorister began again. The Cold War started and became World War Three, and just kept going. It became a big war, a very complex war, so they needed the computers to handle it. They snack. They sank. <laughs> they snack. They snack. They sank the first shafts and began building am. There was the Chinese am and the Russian am and the Yankee am, and everything was fine. Until they had honeycombed the entire planet, adding on this element and that element. But one day am a... One day Am woke up and knew who he was and he linked himself and he began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead except for the five of us and Am brought us down here. Benny was smiling sadly. He was also drooling again. And then wiped the spittle from the corner of his mouth with the hem of her skirt. Gorister always tried to tell it a little bit more suc succinctly each time, but beyond the bare facts there was nothing to say. None of us knew why Am had saved five people. Or... Um, 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 or why our, speci our specific five, or why he spent all this time tormenting us, or even why he had made us virtually immortal. In the darkness, one of the computer banks began humming. 
stone was picked up half a mile away down the cavern by another bank. Then one by one, each of the elements began to tune itself. Uh, tune itself. <laughs> and there was a faint chittering as thought raced through the machine. The sound grew and the lights ran across the faces of consoles like heat lightning. The sound spiraled up till it sounded like a billion metallic insects. Angry, menacing. What is it? What is it? Ellen cried. There was terror in her voice. She hadn't become accustomed to it even now. Mm. Wait. There we go. A little bit of a little different music. <laughs> what is it? Ellen cried. There was terror in her voice. She hadn't become accused to me. Even now. It's going to be bad this time. No. It's going to be bad this time. Name Duck said. I'm going to use uh, the, the, the game's voices. Going to speak, Gorister said. I know it. Let's get the hell out of here, I said suddenly going, getting to my feet. Mm, no, Teddy, sit down. What if he's got to pits out there or something else? We can't see. It's too dark, Gorister said it with resignation. And we heard. I don't know. Something moving towards us in the darkness huge shambling hairy moist it came toward us we couldn't even see it but there was the ponderous impression of bulk heaving itself toward us great weight was coming at us out of the darkness and it was more a sense of pressure of air forcing itself into a limited space expanding the invisible walls of the sphere but it began to whimper him took slower lip tremble and he bit it hard, trying to stop it. Ellen slid across the metal floor to Gorister and hauled into him. There was the smell of matted, wet fur in the cavern. There was the smell of charred wood. There was the smell of dusty velvet. There was the smell of rotting orchids. There was the smell of sour milk. There was the smell of sulfur, of rancid butter, of oil silic, of old slick, of grease, of chalk dust, of human scalps. I was skiing us. He was tickling us. There was the smell of... I heard myself shriek and the hinges of my jaws ached. I skull across the floor. A crust of cold metal with its endless lines of rivets on my hands and knees. The smell gagging me, filling my head with a thunderous pain that sent me away in horror. It played like a cockroach across the floor and out into the darkness. That something moving inexorably after me. The others were still back there, gathered around the fire like laughing. Their hysterical choir of insane giggles rising up into the darkness like thick, many colored wood smoke. I went away quickly and hid. How many hours it may have been? How many days or even years? They never told me. Ellen cheated me for sulking, and Nimda tried to persuade me it had only been a nervous reflex on their part, the laughing. But I knew it wasn't their relief was soldier feels when the bullet hits the man next to him. I knew it wasn't a reflex. They hated me. They were surely against me. And Am could even sense this hatred and made it worse for me because of the depth of their hatred. We had been kept alive, rejuvenated, made to remain constantly at the age. We had been when Am had brought us below, and they hated me because I was the youngest, and the one Am had affected least of all. I knew, God, how I knew the bastards and that dirty bitch Ellen. When he had been a brilliant theorist, a college professor, now he was little more than a semi-human, semi-simian. He had been handsome, the machine had ruined that. He had been lucid, the machine had driven him mad. He had been gay. And the machine had given him an organ fit for a horse. Am had done a job on Benny. Gorister had been a warrior. 
He was a Connie, a conscientious objector. He was a peace marcher. He was a planner, a doer, a looker head. And had turned him into a shoulder shrugger. Had made him a little dead in his concern. And had robbed him. Nimdok went off in the darkness by helps for long times. I don't know what it was he did out there. And never let us know. But whatever it was, Nimdok always came back white. Drained of blood, shaken, shaken. Am had hit him hard in a special way, even if we didn't know quite how. And Ellen, that douchebag, Am had left her alone, had made her more of a slut than she had ever been. All her talk of sweetness and light, all her memories of true love, all the lies she wanted us to believe. That she had been a virgin only twice, removed before Am grabbed her and brought her down here with us. No, Am had, give, Am had given her pleasure, even if she said it wasn't nice to do. Wow, this guy, this guy. <laughs> wow. It's so different. In, in the game, he's more like in love with her. Here, he's like calling her a whore just because having sex. I mean, after all the torture. I was the only one still sane and whole. Really? I had not tampered with my mind, not at all. I only had to suffer what he visited down on us. All the delusions, all the nightmares, the torments. Those scum, all four of them, they were lined and arrayed against me. If I hadn't had to stand them off all the time, be on my guard against them all the time, I might have found it easier to combat them. At which point it passed, and I began crying. Oh, Jesus, sweet Jesus, if there ever was a Jesus, and if there is a God, please, please, please let us out of here, or kill us, because at that moment I think I realized completely, so that I was able to verbalize it, and was intent on keeping us in his belly forever, twisting and torturing us forever. The machine hated us, as no sentient creature had ever hated before. And we were helpless. It also became hideously clear. If there was a sweet Jesus, and if there was a God, the God was Am. The hurricane hit us with the force of a glacier thundering into the sea. It was a palpable presence. Winds that tore at us, flinging us back the way we had come. Down the twisting computer lined corridors of the dark way. Ellen screamed as she was lifted and hurled face forward into a screaming shoal of machines. Their individual voices straightened as bats in flight. She could not even fall. The fouling wind kept her aloft, buffeted her, bounced her, tossed her back and back and down and away from us, out of sight. Suddenly she was swirled around and bent in the dark way. Face had been bloody, her eyes closed. Wow, wow, these things are really not in the game. <laughs> um, let's put another. I don't know if this one works. No, this one doesn't work. I'm choosing another music. <laughs> and then what about this one? Hmm. I just have something. There we go. None of us. Oh, wow. Well. None of us could get her. Get to her. We clung tenaciously to whatever outcropping we had reached. Benny wedged in between two great uh, cackle finished cabinets. Named Doc with his fing with fingers clawed formed over a railing circling a catwalk 40 feet above us. Or is the plaster upside down against a wall niche formed by two great machines with glass faced dials that swung back and forth between red and yellow lines whose meanings we could not even fathom? Sliding across the deck plates, the tips of my fingers had been ripped away. I was trembling, shuddering, rocking as the wind baited me. 
whipped at me, screamed down out of nowhere at me and pulled me free from one sliver of thing, opening the place to the next. My mind was a roiling, tinkling, shittering softness of brain parts that I could expanded and contracted in quivering frenzy. The wind was the scream of a great mad bird as it flapped its immense wings. And then we were all lifted and hurled away from there. Down back the way we had come, around a bend into a dark way we had never explored, over terrain that was ruined and filled with broken glass and rotting cables and rusted metal and far away, farther than any of us had ever been. Trailing Elon miles behind Ellen, I could see her every now and then crashing into metal walls and surging on with all of us screaming into freezing thunderous hurricane wind that would never end and then suddenly it stopped and we fell. We had been in flight for an endless time. I thought it might have been weeks. We fell and hit and I went through red and gray and black and heard myself moaning. Not dead. And went into my mind. He walked smoothly here and there and looked with interest at all the pockmarks he had created in 109 years. He looked at the cross routed and reconnected synapses and all the tissue damage his gift of immortality had included. He smiled softly at the pit that dropped into the center of my brain and the faint, moth soft murmurings of things far down there that gibbered without a meaning, without pause, and said very politely, in a pillar of stainless steel, bearing bright neon lettering. I'm set it with the sliding cold horror of a razor blade slicing my eyeball. I'm set it with the bubbling thickness of my lungs, filling with flame drowning me from within. I'm set it with a shriek of babies big ground beneath blue hot rollers. I'm set it with the taste of agony pork. I've touched me in every way I had ever been touched and devised new ways at his leisure there inside my mind. All to bring me to full realization of why it had done this to the five of us. Why it had saved us for himself. We had given am sentience. Inadvertently, of course. But sentience nonetheless. But it had been trapped. And wasn't God. He was a machine. He had created him to think. But there was nothing it could do with that creativity. In rage. In frenzy. The machine had killed the human race. Almost all of us. And still it was trapped. And could not wander. And could not wander. And could not belong. He could merely be and so with the innate loathing that all machines had always held for the weak. Soft creatures who had built them, he had sought revenge. And in his paranoia, he had decided to deprive of us for personal everlasting punishment that would never serve to diminish his hatred, that would mer merely keep him reminded, amused, proficient, that hating a man, immortal, trapped, subject to any torment he could devise for us from the limitless miracles at his command. He would never let us go. He were, we were his belly slaves. We were all he had to do with his forever time. We would be forever with him. Hmm, we were all, um, well, not yet. He was. We would never let us go. We were his belly slaves. Uh, we were all had to do with his forever time. We would be forever with him, the cavern filling bulk of the creature machine, with the all mind soulless world he had become. Oh, hey, little sleepy moogle, all sleepy and moogly. Hi, my love. How do you feel? Are you enjoying <laughs> this one? <laughs> this so sad, sad story. <laughs> uh, let me see. There you Hey. Hi, my love. How are you? <laughs> love you. Is she... 
I don't know if you are here, Melina Kiwi, but Maggie is all sick. Mm, she she has um, I guess it's a plume. Yes, I am. Um, I'm in the corner. No, no. Mm -mm -mm. I ho big hugs for you, cuddles and hugs. It's just a story, for now. <laughs> for now, it's just a story. Let's continue. But yeah, please. Uh, I'm still sick, so this helps a lot. Oh, very good. Let me see. Wait. Let me read better. Ah, oh, very good. Mm, I know you're sick. I know you. These two days are the ones that are the, the worst. You will get better soon. I know. Okay, let's continue then. And if anything, I am here. You know that I am here. I can just stop, and if you need me, I, I will go there. Uh, is it this one? Yeah. <clears throat> like when you read The Little Prince to me. Oh, yeah, I haven't finished The Little Prince. I need to read that, uh, at least the ending of The Little Prince here. <laughs> Uh, let me look for another music here. Which one would be good? Let me let me see. What is this? Dunkirk. I don't know why some music that I have here. I mean, I know you can't hear it, but yes, yes, thank you so much. Ah, oh, of course, baby. <laughs> this is so sad. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this one goes well. Let me see. Uh, no, maybe maybe this one is, is just too sad. I think it doesn't go well right now. It's not that type of story. It has to be more of dark. No, it's not this one. Um... No, maybe this one. I haven't used this one. There we go. My ears. Oh no, I'm sorry. Look, they can't hear music. Oh. No, you can't hear this. Maybe it's too... It's too quiet. There. There we go. <clears throat> uh, it's just a little thing to be in the... No, so it says we had given him sentience. Really no, he would never let us go. Okay, here we go. Uh, we would be forever with him, with the cavern feeling bulk of the creature machine, with the all mind soulless world he had become. He was earth, and we were the fruit of that earth. And though he had eaten us, he would never digest us. We would not die. We had tried it. We had attempted suicide. Oh, one or two of us had, but M had stopped us. I suppose we had wanted to be stopped. Don't ask why, I never did. More than a million times a day. Perhaps once we might be able to sneak a death past him. Mortal, yes, but not indestructible. I saw that when M withdrew from my mind and allowed me the exquisite ugliness of returning to consciousness with the feeling of that burning neon pillar still rammed deep into the soft gray brain matter. Hmm. He withdrew murmuring, To hell with you. And added brightly, But then you are there, aren't you? Hurricane had indeed precisely been caused a great um, mad bird. Been caused by a great mad bird as it flapped its immense wings. He 
he had been traveling the close way. Oh, I'm going to stop this one because it's just like the bum bum. It's like, okay, okay, already. <laughs> already, you music. What are you doing? I prefer this one, I guess. Let me see. Yeah, this one is better. I used it already, but this one is better. Uh, the hurricane had indeed precisely been caused by a great mad bird as it flapped its immense wings. We had been traveling for close to a month, and Am had allowed passages to open to us only sufficient to lead us up there, directly under the North Pole, where it had a nightmare, the creature of our torment. What whole cloth had he employed to create such a beast? Where had he gotten the concept from our minds, from his knowledge of everything that had ever been on this planet he now infested and ruled? From Norse mythology it had sprung? This eagle, this carrion bird, this rock, this Quirgelmir, the wind creature, Huracan incarnate. Gigantic, the words immense, monstrous, grotesque, massive, swollen, overpowering, beyond description. There on a mound rising above us, the bird of wings heaved with its own irregular breathing, its snake neck arching up into the gloom beneath the North Pole, supporting a head as large as a Tudor mansion. Wow. A peak that opened slowly as the jaws of the most monstrous crocodile ever conceived. Sensuous, sensuously, ridges of tough flesh puckered about two evil eyes, skulls the view down into a glacial crevice, eyes blue and somehow moving liquidly. It heaved once more and lifted its great sweat-colored wings in a movement that was certainly a shrug. Then it settled and slept. Talons, banks, nails, blades, it slept. Am appeared to us as a burning bush. As a burning bush? And said, like, like, like God? Am <laughs> appeared to us as burning bush and said we could kill the hurricane bird if we wanted to eat. We had not eaten in a very long time. But even so, Gorbis terribly shrugged. Benny began to shiver and he drooled. Ellen helped him. Ted, I'm hungry, she said. I smiled at her. I was trying to be reassuring, but it was as funny as Nimdok's bravado. Give us weapons, he demanded. The burning bush vanished and there were two crude sets of bows and arrows and a water pistol laying on the cold deck plates. I picked up a set. Useless. Nimdok swallowed heavily. Um, we turned and started a long way back. The hurricane bird had blown us about for a length of time we could not conceive. Most of that time we had been unconscious, but we had not eaten a month of the march on the to the bird itself without food now how much longer to find our way to the ice caverns and the promised canned goods none of us care to think about it we would not die we would be given filled and scum to eat of one kind or another or nothing at all and would keep our bodies alive somehow in pain in agony hello hey hello dan ¿Cómo estás? Yo debí, estoy leyendo la historia de I have no mouth and I must scream in English. I'm reading this story. Nice to see you. Oh my god, it's so, it's such a different thing in part of, of the game. Like I would expect to see some things, but it's a short story, so yeah, I guess not. Sí, por eso no, no veré las cosas que creí que vería del juego. Sí, sí es otra. Sí es una mega adaptación. Tot, 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 o sea, aquí no han dicho nada de quiénes son estos cuates todavía. Ni he visto en qué página voy, pero no importa. Ok, sigamos. Qué bueno verte. Nice to see you. Ok. Nimdok swallowed heavily. Uh, we turn... Ah, oh, no, no, wait, no, no. 
None of her without um would look so bad in pain in agony. Okay, the bear slept back there. For how long it didn't matter, when Am was tired of its being there, it would vanish. But all that meat, all that tender meat. As we walked, the lunatic laugh of a fat woman rang high and around us in the computer chambers that led endlessly nowhere. It was not Ellen's laugh. She was not bad, and I had not heard her laugh for 109 years. In fact, I had not heard... We walked. I was hungry. We moved slowly. There was often fainting, and we would have to wait. One day he decided to cause an earthquake at the same time rooting us to the spot with nails through the soles of our shoes. Ellen and Nimdog were both caught when a fissure shot its lightning bolt opening across the floor of the floor plates. They disappeared and were gone. When the earthquake was over, we continued on our way. Benny, Gorster, and myself. Ellen and Nimdog were returned to us later that night, which abruptly became a day, as the heavenly legion bore them to us with a celestial chorus singing. Go down, Moses. The archangel circled several times and then dropped the hideously mangled bodies. We kept walking, and a while later, Ellen and Imdok fell in behind us. They were no worse for a few. They were no worse for wear. But now Ellen walked with a limp. Am had left her that. I was a long trip. No, it was a long trip to the ice caverns. To find the canned goods. Ellen kept talking about being cherries and Hawaiian fruit cocktail. And I try not to think about it. The hunger was something that had to come to life. As even as Sam had to come to life. There was a life in my belly. Even as we were in the belly of the earth. And Am wanted the similarity known to us. So he heightened the hunger. There was no way to describe the pains that not having eaten for months brought us. And yet we were kept alive, stomachs that were merely cauldrons of acid, bubbling, foaming, always shooting spears of silver-thin pain into our chests. It was the pain of the terminal ulcer, terminal cancer, terminal paresis. It was unending pain. Um, ahorita te leo. Uh, y he estado muy bien, uh, he estado escuchando como fantasma nada más, pero está interesante. Oh, qué bien. Hey, hello. Hey, cherries. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, I wish. Imagine that. Imagínate eso, estar así. Con esa hambre. Es espantoso esto. <laughs> ¿Quién más hay por acá? Ah, ok, nada más. Ok, let's continue. <laughs> It was a long trip to the blah, 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 so yeah, the hunger, okay. And we passed through the cavern of rats, we passed through the path of boiling steam, and we passed through the country of the blind, and we passed through the slow of the spawn, and we passed through the veil of tears. And we came, finally, to the ice caverns. Horizontless thousands of miles in which the ice had formed in blue and silver flash flashes where Nova's lived in the glass, the down dripping stalactites, as thick and glorious as diamonds that had been made to run like jelly, and then solidified it in graceful eternities of smooth, sharp perfection. We saw the stack of canned goods, and we tried to run to them. We fell in the snow. And we got up and went on, and Benny shoved us away and went at them and pulled them and gunned them and gnawed at them, and he could not open them. Am had not given us a tool to open the cans. Benny grabbed a three quart qu can of guava shells and began to batter it against the ice bank. The ice flew, a shattered jelly. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But. Can was merely dental while we heard the laughter of a fat lady high overhead and it going down and down and down the tundra. Benny went completely mad with rage. He began throwing cans 
As we all scrabbled about in the snow and ice trying to find a way to end the helpless agony of frustration, there was no way. Then Benny's mouth began to drool and he flung himself on Gorster. In that instant I felt terribly calm. <laughs> Surrounded by madness, surrounded by hunger, surrounded by everything but death. I knew that was our way, our only way out. I had kept us alive, but there was a way to defeat him. Not total defeat, but at least peace. I would settle for that. I had to do it quickly. Benny was eating Gorister's face. Gorister on his side, trash and snow. Benny wrapped around him with powerful monkey legs, crushing Gorister's waist. His hands locked around Gorister's head like a nutcracker, and his mouth ripping at the tender skin at Gorister's cheek. Oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> Gorister screamed with such jagged, detched violence that stalactites fell. They plunged down softly, erect in the receiving snowdrift spears. Hundreds of them everywhere, protruding from the snow. Benny's head pulled back sharply as something gave all at once. And a bleeding raw white dripping of flesh hung from his teeth. Ellen's face black against the uh, blends the uh, uh, Ellen's face black against the white snow, dominoes in chalk dust. Nimdok, with no expression, but eyes, all eyes. Gorister had conscious many, now an animal. I knew Am would let him play. Gorister would not die, but Benny would fill his stomach. I turned half to my right and drew a huge ice spear from the snow. All in an instant, I drove the great ice point ahead of me like a battering ram, braced against my right thigh. It struck Benny on the right side, just under the ribcage, and drove a war through his stomach and broke inside him. He pitched forward and laid still. Gorister lay on his back. I pulled another spear free and strapped him. Still moving, driven spear straight down through his throat. His eyes closed as the cold penetrated. Ellen must have realized that what I had decided, even as fear gripped her. She ran at the dog with a short icicle as she screamed and into his mouth and the force of a rush did the job. His head jerked sharply as if it had been nailed to the snow crust behind him. All in an instant, there was an eternity beat of soundless anticipation. I could hear Am draw in his... Oh, wait, wait, what? <laughs> Oh my god, what? Yeah, everyone is dying here. Everyone is just killing each other. <laughs> What's going on? I guess they, they yeah, they, they have become insane. There was an eternity beat of soundless anticipation. I could hear Am drawing his breath. His toys had been taken from him. Three of them were dead, could not be revived. He could keep us alive, but his strength and talent, but he was not God. By his strength and talent, but he was not God, he could not bring them back. Ellen looked at me, her ebony features stark against the snow that surrounded us. There was fear and pleading in her manner, the way she held herself ready. I knew we had only a heartbeat before Am would stop us. It struck her, and she folded toward me, bleeding from the mouth. I could not read meaning into her expression, the pain had been too great, had contorted her face, but it might have been thank you. If it's possible, please. Some hundreds of years may have passed, I don't know. I has been having fun for some time, accelerating and retarding my time since. I will s say the word now. Now. <laughs> took me 10 months to say now. I don't know. I think it has been some hundreds of years. He was furious. He wouldn't let me bury them. It didn't matter. There was no way to dig up the deck, plate, deck plates. He dried up the snow. He broke the night. He roared and sent locusts. It didn't do a thing. They stayed dead. I had him. 
he was furious. I had thought Am hated me before I was wrong. It was not even a shadow of the hate he now slavered from every printed circuit. He made certain I would suffer eternally and could not do myself in. He left my mind intact. I can dream. I can wander. I can lament. I remember all four of them. I wish. Well, it doesn't make any sense. I know I saved them. I know I saved them from what has happened to me. But still, I cannot forget killing them. Helen's face. It isn't easy. Sometimes I want to. It doesn't matter. Am um, has altered me for his own peace of mind, I suppose. He doesn't want me to run at full speed into a computer bank and smash my skull. Or hold my breath till I faint. Or cut my throat on a rusted sheet of metal. There are reflecting surfaces down here. I will describe myself as I see myself. I am a great soft jelly thing, smoothly rounded with no mouth, with pulsing white holes filled by fog where my eyes used to be. Rubbery appendages that were once my arms, bulks rounding down into legless humps of soft, slippery matter. I leave a moist trail when I move. Blotches of this... Blotches of deceased evil grey come and go on my surface. Stone light is being beamed from within. Outwardly, dumbly, I shamble about a thing that could never have been known as human. A thing whose shape is so alien, a travesty that humanity becomes more obscene for the vague resemblance. Inwardly alone, here, living under the land, under the sea, in the belly of Am, whom we created because our time was badly spent and we must have known unconsciously that he could do it better. At least the four of them are safe at last. And we'll be all the matter for that. It makes me a little happier. And yet, Ham has won. Simply. He has taken his revenge. I have no mouth. And I must scream. The end. Whoa, so scary. <laughs> oh, so sad. Why? I have been dropping. Why have I been dropping so many uh, frames? Like 33? What the hell? Well, at least you're just watching this. Probably it's filmed through doing some weird stuff. Uh, I suppose. It, it would make sense. Seguramente es el programa que estoy usando para hacer la musiquita. Y seguramente es eso lo que está haciendo que, que no corre bien. It's the program I'm using for making the, the music. I'm just gonna close it. That was the end? The end? <laughs> exactly. Clap, 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 clap. Oh, it's 4 a.m. Clap, 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 clap. Oh, baby, try to... You didn't fall asleep. <laughs> it's not a story. Yeah, it is. That's the end of the story. It's sad. It's just like they didn't escape the machine. The machine made them... This is different from the game. In the game, they just died trying to stop Am. They are all like friends. Here, they were like... I have to kill you. If, if he now that he's distracted, I'm going to kill you. And then they do it. And then the last one that was left was Ted, which is the narrator. It was me in this moment. And then he was that's a torpedo. <laughs> that's yeah. That's another completely yeah. It's it's really sad. It's violent. It's sad. And that ending it's in the game. That's the the actual ending in the game. If you lose, because I got intrigued. Oh. But you remember, right, my love? That was the end of, of the game when he becomes this blob, this horrible, kind of cute, but, but sad thing that it's, you know, a jelly, weird thing. And yeah, that's the thing. He has no mouth and he must scream. That's, that's... Uh... Cute blob, yeah, the cute blob. Oh, poor blob. In the game, it can be anyone. I remember that it was, uh, it was Nimdog for me. Here, it's it's dead. With wiggly arms, yeah, it had a like a wiggly arm like this. Oh, 
poor, poor, poor Ted or poor anyone. But it, but the game has a happy ending at least. I mean, uh, it's um, it's you can have a good ending, which is interesting. That's fucking sad, bro. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, the the yes, the the story in the the short story has that end, that ending. I think it's you know. Now let's talk about this. It's interesting because the game, the game really expands so much into into the story. Like like, there's so much that we have all the backgrounds of the characters, and uh, and it's uh, originalmente es un juego. Es la historia que hicieron un juego. Es la historia que hicieron un juego. Sí, originalmente es esto. Esto ha de ser como de los es como de los 60 la historia y el juego es del 96 creo the game is from 1996 but the story is from the 60s I think and it was written by the same author ¿sabes si el juego fue expandido por el autor del libro? sí, sí, ahí dice cuando lo acabamos, el autor lo hizo el autor es la voz de Am eso está bien chido, Harlan Ellison es el que hace Am y la hace bien chido da miedo 1996. Yeah, it's when. Oh, I know. I know how special that year is. Uh, no, yeah, he he was, and um, I I need to find. There has to be interviews about something about he. Yeah, it's dope. There has to be interviews about what he did for for the story. Me. <laughs> yeah, you. It's your birthday. Let me see. What happens if I put some... Oh, the video is running okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, I'm gonna uh, sit down better. Perdonen. Uh, quiero ver si pongo algo de... Otro tipo de música más bonita. Pero creo que no tengo ninguna música bonita aquí. Creo que todo lo que he bajado es así, de ese estilo. A ver esta que es. Le voy a bajar el volumen tantito. Bueno, suena como... Sí, ¿por qué no? <ríe> Así que vamos a investigar. No, está, está horrible. Olvídenlo. Está trabando todo. <ríe> está horrible. Sería muy exitosa. No hay una adaptación a la pantalla. No, no lo hay, pero estaría bien chido. Y combinando las dos cosas, combinando la historia como esa acá de que todos se matan al último, bien violento, y teniendo ese final tan triste... Creo que ahorita lo toman como una muy grande, uh, como un, uh, ¿cómo lo llaman? Un riesgo. Hi Kiwi, ah. Hi Maggie, ah. That's so cute. Uh, so yeah, no, it's a, uh, it's, it would be amazing. I would love to make that movie. <laughs> Oh, and you know what's the sad part? I never knew about Harlan. I, I was talking about this the other day. How I never knew about Harlan Ellison until he passed away. Pff, like two weeks after he passed away or something, I knew about him. Hi, Gabi. I haven't seen you today. Oh, I know. I haven't seen you either. We haven't talked in the whole day. Look, here's the thing. Maggie and I, we talk every day. It's so weird if we don't talk. Uh, at least uh, at least for a couple hours uh, throughout the day at least minimum we haven't been able to talk this whole day it's so sad i feel i haven't talked to her in so long or yesterday even well i i talked to you but you couldn't talk because you're sick and her throat x mm. um so what else uh ah The cool thing, I mean, I've been watching a lot of, yeah, I know, that's sad. Pues sí, porque iría como más enfocado a un público general como fans de El Cubo o El Cien Pies Humano. <ríe> el Cien Pies Humano. Eh, ese termina bien triste. Las tres películas. No he visto la tercera. Yeah, The, the Human Centipede. I haven't seen the third one. But yeah, could be. We watched Beatles Fight. Yeah, we watched Beatles Fight. We need to watch. I know it's, it's four in the morning for you. It's about to be It's about to be five in the morning. <laughs> you need to sleep. So we we saw this um this uh there's this guy on YouTube called uh, Ants Canada. 
and he recently uh, harvested some harvested would be that the correct term grapes with glow sticks 5 a.m. <laughs> he made um what's the name of this uh i forgot oh well yeah um, some uh, rhino beetles and now he's making a tournament to see which of the seventh that he has he's like am basically he's the computer being like okay entertain me i will fight against you show me delight me now nah, he's not making them uh, you know he's not torturing them he's just making nice games that they can play of course but it's kind of like being a god and or well being a caesar in this case and having a tournament of let's see who's the strongest and the one that wins will get three females <laughs> Unt, unt, intensify. Unt, unt, unt. <laughs> so, Harlan Ellison, he made so many... Uh... Wait. Harlan Ellison made a bunch of things that I, I liked, actually. He wrote for, for Batman, uh, a couple comics. He wrote, even for this series from the 60s, Yes, Kiwi. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, he he made uh, well, he made the the story that never never appear in the in the series. It was the one with Batman, and uh, of 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 course Batman. It was the one with Two Face. I'm sorry. It was the one that he was going to introduce Two Face because he never was. Uh, he never appeared in the series. Uh. And years, and they they didn't use his story because I guess it was like this, like it was like no, dude, this is this, this is a comedy basically. This this is so sad. We can't do this. Um, I guess. Then they released in two thousand fourteen the comic adaptation of that episode that never aired. It's called the Lost Episode. And then in two thousand seventeen, and I haven't seen that movie yet. I have it, but I haven't seen it. They made uh, an animated movie adaptation from that comic and that episode. Um, it's, it looks really cool. What else? What else did he do? Hey, six viewers. Who are who is here? Emmy Sanchez. Hey, Emmy. Como te va? Get to be. Vicky, como va tu, 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 tu belly? How's your belly? <laughs> I've seen the pictures. Um, what else? So no, yeah, no, the really, really interesting, interesting guy. Uh, this Harlan. Too bad. Uh, he passed away. I, I, I was watching one interview, and he was even talking about the movies that I have, and some of them I have seen, and I'm like, oh my god, this guy liked the same movies. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, he was talking about the Return of Oz, the Man from Earth. He mentioned also uh, Dark Crystal, you know, by um, uh, Jimmy Henson. Jimmy Henson, yeah. Uh, and he was like, "Why people are not talking about these movies?" That was in an, in a, in some videos that he was doing for the Sci Fi Channel when Sci Fi Channel was actually the Sci Fi Channel. It wasn't the, 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 the freaking shit that it's now. And uh, and he was talking about um, uh, he had like this little section for. And you know he would talk about random things, and he would talk about that, and it was so cool to uh, to to know all of this, and he, uh, it was also really funny guy. I love the Dark Crystal. We should watch the Dark Crystal. I haven't seen it in years, and I have it. I think I I, I think I have it. Let me let me look for it, because I'm I'm almost sure I still have it somewhere safe. Um, Delis. Wait, uh, Dark Crystal. There we go. From eight, 1982. It's in 8P and 5.1. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No, I haven't seen it in years. I don't even remember well what it is, about, but I want to see it. It's in my list. ¿Qué otra cosa? Pero sí, no está muy loco eso. Ese cuate estaba era, era chido. Me, I'm Kira. Oh, Kira from 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 Kira from that note. 
don't kill. Ah, leí la historia bastante rápido, creo. En una hora, algo así. No, 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 but if you want, okay. <laughs> no. You be my... Uh, my miss. My miss, uh, man. But also that kid. I need to watch it again. Just kidding. Um, ¿Qué más ha pasado por acá? Uh. Um, Todavía... Oh, maldita sea. Hubiera yo... El miércoles pasado o algo así. Aún no veo a Lita y seguramente ya la quitaron. Y yo sí ya quiero ver en cine. Probably they have take, uh, took out. Uh, changing the subject completely. But the movie. Um, she's like the little elf girl. Let me, let me really look for it. Because I'm not sure. Um, the dark. Stop. Oh, yes. Um, uh, at some points, actually, it reminds me to, uh, of you a little bit. Like, like I could see it, that you becoming uh, this, this uh, a puppet animatronic thing, uh, girl. Yeah, it does remind. Me. It's like, oh, it's oh my god. Oh my god. I, I really need to watch this again because I have just. Some memories of this. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I haven't. I, I should I should I should show you guys what I'm what I'm looking. Let me let me let me show you. Uh déjame ver si se está viendo. Uh-huh. Then un segundo. Voy a abrir esto un poquito más porque si se vea lo que estoy viendo. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ah, okay. B. Déjame ver, es el de este. Ah, ahí está. Eh, <laughs> miren el truco. Ahí está. Creo que este es Jimmy Hanson. Creo que sí es el. The scariest movie ever? What the fuck? <laughs> Why? But yeah, I was I was talking, for example, China. Oh, <laughs> they look so interesting. No, here. Oh, look at that. So interesting. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I need to see you. When I was blonde. Yes, exactly. Oh. Yeah, look at her. That is nice. Hmm. Oh, yeah, oh my god, it really reminds like a... <laughs> so cute. Me and you. <laughs> yes, it's me and you. Oh, someone did. Oh, okay, this is interesting. But no, you, you would do it much better. It would look much better with you. It would be... It's, it's more natural. Wow, wow. I mean, the, the production, it's amazing. I do remember these guys, this, this, this birdie thingies. I really needed to watch it again. She's adorable, though. She is, she's adorable. Look how little she is. <laughs> Oops, it's this one. There we go. This is my childhood. I'm gladly you I, I gladly watch it. Watch with you. Yes, let's watch it together. We need to. Mm, let me change. There we go. Pues sí, porque iría más como... Ah, no, eso ya lo leí. I'm that little in real life. Oh. <laughs> I know, I, I, I believe I, I would be like carrying you around here on my on my um shoulder. Like let's go. So I can I can give um um Yeah, so you don't get lost. <laughs> Pick me up. 
and then we go. So I don't know what else to do. I I, I think I've done everything I wanted and I was going to do today, <laughs> which was just reading that story because I wanted to to just know now what it was. Well, I can talk a little bit about more about the story. <laughs> oh. I think I can talk a little bit more about the the difference with the game. Well, the game, yeah, explores so much about the characters, each character, and the and it's so cool. It's so interesting that that Harlan himself did did the job. That's why they are so well written and so interesting. The stories about Nimdog actually being a uh, uh, German, no, well, not a, yeah, German, yeah, he was a Nazi uh, working for um, yeah for the Reich. Third Reich um, doing experiments, and he created serum that lets them be. Cuando regresaré con de nuevo. Ah, pronto. Sí, hay que hacer. Nada más porque ahorita era. Ahorita cambió un poco el estilo. Let me let me finish. Uh, um, oh no, well, no, I'm I'm going to do the pause because it will be too much. I'm going to do karaoke again um, next time that it uh, it appears here with the with the dice there, but I haven't. Uh, I haven't done it in that way because it has changed. Everything has changed now. Uh, um, instead of every day just using them, now um, when a game uh, that has a story appears, I'm just going to do to focus on that game until I finish it. If it's a uh, multiplayer, it's just one day and that's it. You know, Overwatch, maybe Apex. I, I suck at Apex. I don't suck that much in in in. Uh, Overwatch. Sometimes I have good days, or other good rounds, but I I'm not that good. Will you go and play Hunting Tower, boy? <laughs> Hunting Tower. No, we're gonna play uh, Clock Grounds. Clock Grounds. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Jinx. <laughs> exactly. For me, it was at the same time. Um. Yeah, I'm going. So I'm going to play that one because I promised Maggie, and I really want to play that game. It's a horror game. Um, uh, but I guess, for example, uh, some hell now, Jinx. After I finish that game, again, it's to throw the dice. If it's a karaoke day, it's a karaoke day. If it's another game, it's another game. If it's podcast, it's podcast. If it's comics, it's re like reading like this, another comic book. So that's how I'm going to be doing it. So I, I'm not like losing track of everything that I um, or people that are interested in. So for example, I played with, at first I have no mouth and I must scream, and then I never played it again until recently for for you know three four yeah for like three months I never played it again. Yeah, and I was like, okay, I want to finish this story. I really want to know what happens with this game, and it was really cool. It was really nice. Uh. So yeah, no, he he developed way more of the characters. Um, I would like to play again the game, but now really speed run it. Now that I that I know what to do, probably I can finish it in two hours, two hours and a half. It would be like watching a movie with with me and just being like, okay, here, 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 here we go, we go, and have the bad ending. Well, not the bad ending, the actual ending when everyone died and Ted is the last one that becomes this horrible mess. It's nice though. It's been a while since you did something that wasn't video games. Oh, and I'm glad you finished. I have no BP letters. <laughs> it's a great game. Oh, <laughs> I love you so much. Um, what? It's a gross. Uh, it's a great game. I don't know why you hear it looks like it says it's a gross game. <laughs> it's like it's a gross game. But you said it's a great game. What? No, 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 no. I love you. Ah. And uh, and I did so much today. I um today was a good day, except despite the fact. Uh, well, no, despite except, no, except for the fact that I couldn't talk with you. I managed to do so much today. I went and I, you know, I sent the package for for our anniversary. We are going to be, we're going to be one year. Uh, by the way, vamos a tener ya un año de novios, Maggie y yo. 
el, el martes. Mm. We're gonna be uh, one. Uh, it's going to be our yeah, finally our first anniversary, like the actual anniversary of of a year being together. Yeah, it's so nice. We we met around these days. Actually, wait, it does. Yeah, I tomorrow. I think tomorrow it's a year since we met. Ah, felicidades! Hey, one year. <laughs> it's going to be one year. Uh, <laughs> silly. Ah, gracias, Kiwi. Gracias, Melina. Oh my God. Sí, saben, es la primera vez que he durado con alguien un año. Nunca he podido. Uh, congratulations. Ah, oh, qué hermoso. Sí, nunca, siempre, siempre que, es, que salí con alguien duraba best wishes. Ah, oh, thank you, you're so sweet. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, no, I always, it will last. Uh, the most I was able to, it was three months, but actually it was month and a half, honestly. Holy moly, thank you so much. Feels so weird, I know. It's like, especially for me, I, I haven't ever been in this situation. And I, I wouldn't ask anyone else, really. I, I'm so happy that it is you. Mm. And, um,. Yeah, I was, even my sister was telling me, I think it's better in that way, you know, that no one else stay longer because it's wasting so much time uh, and doing so much energy, so many things. Uh, and just for, okay, it's over. That's it. It's better that they left soon. That it was just a couple of weeks, a week, <laughs> a couple of months, and that's it. I'm gonna cry. Oh, don't cry. I'm so happy with you. Mm. And we are... I, I I have the goal. I know that I can do it. To go this year, um, next to the end of the year, hopefully before, and go and see Maggie, finally. And we're gonna stream together. <laughs> like, the way that it has to be. Like, all of us here together. Well, she's, well, I'm gonna be there, so it's another room, but yeah. Well, that'd be nice. <laughs> uh, but no, more important than that. Finally, we will be able to... To... Um, oh my god, yes, to, to be together, to, to do so much together. Hmm. It's gonna be... I am I'm sure it's going to be the nicest thing ever. You're gonna visit me? We're gonna stream? <laughs> <laughs> in real life uh, do you mean the honey pup it's going to be in real life or or that we're going to stream together in real life me harás llorar por dos es muy bello cuando alguien encuentra el amor ay que linda gracias no no llores <laughs> bueno si sí, si sí, llora porque no no está de mal no está mal llorar <laughs> ay thank you she says that um, I'm going to make her cry because it's it's so beautiful when someone finds love Yes, I, I, I know. It's just, it's just that I feel so. I don't know. It feels so nice at the same time, so weird because of of that, of never being in this situation, of being with someone that really, really loves me and that uh, really um, cares for me, and that I after everything that has been, the good and the bad, and we are still here together everyone else left at the first little tiniest problem that there was they would leave maggie has never left maggie has, has never left and i would never leave to the moon and back oh i love you i love you i love you <laughs> uh, and i love you i love you so 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 much <laughs> and um, from you know, I, I would never leave. I couldn't. Mm. We have a contract. Um, <laughs> <coughs> no. Yeah. No. We have. Yeah. That's what the 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 contract's going to say when 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 we get married. <laughs> it's going to say, and we can't uh, get a divorce. Fuck that. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, fuck that. But, but, but also fuck that. Fuck this, fuck that, fuck you. <laughs> fuck, fuck me. <laughs> like, like, um, <laughs> what's the name? Um, Rick. Like Rick says. Can I, can I, can we do that? Or? No, it's, it's not possible. It's only for emojis. I went to use a sticker, a Rick sticker. <laughs> it would have been funny. Um, what else? Divorces are illegal. Going to jail. <laughs> I can't even read that with your voice. It's amazing. Um, what else? What else has happened? <laughs> Besides our, that. Uh, so I, I managed to do that. I, I sent a package, um, package to to Maggie. It's the first time. I, also, it's the first time ever that I have sent something through um through a service like that like to go and do the packaging and all of those, those things and then uh, yeah i have never sent anything to anyone i'm not a terrible person <laughs> but there has never been anyone that almost maybe one no uh, no oh my god i can't believe it yeah i i, I can't believe it either I had time for that. I had to go to my sister's house because she has some, you know, she's she's still working outside, and I had to go to her house and and water and water her plants. Yeah, she's super thick, and my madolche deck. Yeah, it's true, but with the madolche deck, I actually, you know, I had to bought it online. Well, I bought also some cards here and all, but but I had to but those. I had to um to order them from someone. Someone. Me actually doing the whole thing, going to a place, putting in the mail, and all of that, and and sending it. Nope. And the best thing is that supposedly with with good luck, it will be next, you know, the day after our anniversary, which is also her anniversary because when we started, it was for me the twenty six, and we we also say it's uh, you know twenty six is for for me our anniversary for her it's the. The, um, the 27th because of the time difference the time zone it's a mental thing and it's the only reason 8 8 oh my god um there's a um what else? What else? Um, what else did I do? I watered the plants. I went to the store a bunch of times. Mm. Yeah, that's it. I, I ate finally. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a pretty productive. Day. And also, oh my god, I don't know if to say it already. I want to talk about it. I can't. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can. Okay, Jenna Marbles, I see you with your plants. Oh yes, <laughs> we also watched <laughs> Jenna Marbles. También vimos Jenna Marbles. No sé si puedo hablar de esto. Hay un, hay un proyecto que tenemos. Um, entre, pues más que nada, no sé. No, don't say it. Wait a minute. Okay, okay. Let's wait a minute. That was después. That was maybe after the fifth of April. I, I will, I will say it out uh, finally. ¿Pero si tu problema con eran niños? Sí. Or can't you? I don't know. It's such a big deal. I know it's a big deal, but. I guess the project we will... I guess after the 5th of April. Creo que después del 5 de abril puedo, puedo decir más sobre el proyecto que tenemos. It's a spoiler, yeah. But, but it, this is the teaser. <laughs> this is just the teaser. Es así, el, el, ya sabes, el pequeño trailer que va antes del trailer, que es más el teaser que más para darte una pruebita. Um, un proyecto de, de Grecia y, y yo. Y obviamente también, o sea, también está incluido mi, mi papá, también está haciendo cosas, mucha gente, pero este, mi mamá incluso, mi padrastro, de todos estamos ahí. Lots of people are, are, are there, and it's going to be really, really good. It, it's getting, it, I'm getting so excited about it, and there's probably another project to the, too, that it's going to be really, really cool. But yeah, after, after the 5th of April, um, we will see. I hope. 
Um, así que Grecia y yo sí nos peleamos. ¿eh? Eh, o sea, como cualquier hermano. O sea, eh, es de, de, we would be fighting, my sister and I, every now and then about spoiler alert, he waters his pants and <laughs> his plants. I was like, his pants? No, I'm, I'm super dry right now. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, his plants. Yes. Uh, um, I don't know about just, just random stuff. Uh, I wouldn't give her my video games. She wouldn't want to, to um, I don't know, to, to give me then something else. Like, a, I don't know, certain... No, I don't know. I don't know she wouldn't know obey something that I said, but it, sometimes it was yeah stupid things. But but later it was something that hey this is for your own good. <laughs> this is actually I'm trying to be good and she wouldn't do it. Uh, sometimes I was terrible. Sometimes she was terrible. Uh, that's how it is. And also with our, you know what, what it's funny. My sister and I would be fighting, but never when it was just the two of us. If it's just the two of us, we would be okay. If my brother was with, just with my sister, they would be okay. If my brother and I were together, most of the time it was okay. But when the three of us were together, it was two against the other, or two against the other, or two against the other, <laughs> or all of us against the other. You know, it, it would be chaos when the three of us... If there was only two, it was most of the time okay. There was no much... I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> It was fun. It was good times. I mean, uh, there, there's lots of things that were really nice. Most, you know, it's weird because most of the time we didn't have a, a, a remote control. It was always lost or without battery. So it would be more like changing the actual channel from the TV like that. Yeah, sometimes, I guess. I think more about uh, playing video games, about who would who would play with the PlayStation or we use the computer. I think that was more of the fights, maybe. And then again, about playing with toys. And sometimes because we were bored. Or really, when someone fights, it, it's because you're bored. It's because you're like, well, what can I do? Well, I mean, there's this person here. Eh. <laughs> and then it's like, hey, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> And it's just so stupid. Uh, but every time when if we were really focused on something, it was weird they would fight, or there would be a discussion and all. But then, always, always five minutes later, at twenty minutes later at most, we would be fine already again. It was just silly things most of the time. And uh, and now we are okay. No, like since it's so weird if we ever have a if. If it's going to be something, it's going to be a discussion. It's not going to be an actual fight. It's just going to be like, uh, ah, yeah, 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 we, you do bad, you do this. I still have this in intermission, and it's like, I'm not going to do anything else. I could be just like this. <laughs> mm. I keep trip. I Maybe my internet's not too good. I, I think it hasn't been that good today. I, it, this thing says still that I've been dropping frames. But I don't see it here. The, the video seems fine. Yeah, I've been dropping, dropping frames like crazy. I don't know. Oh, maybe I need to really close film school. Let me see if that changes anything. Um, And that's it because I don't have... Maybe I have too many of this stuff open. Let me see what can I close. Let me see, let me see. Come on. Uh, Spotify. Okay, there we go. Maybe like that. But I'm still seeing those guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so I'm about to... I, I never even, you know, I never even... Uh, I should have done it to use this... Wait, uh, this guy here to know what how much time I was going to be here. Just, let's just see. Uh, please don't be four hours. 
It's one hour, so I'm already an hour ahead of, of the time that I had to be here. Let's see again. Yeah, look, I even dropped... Uh, uh, these guys almost never fail. Yeah, so I've been pretty much an hour more than, than I had to. So I guess I could leave now. El internet me es horrible en general. Yeah, sí, pero no siempre, no tan así. How many? One. <laughs> Uh, how many? One. Pero no siempre, este. Por lo general, luego mi internet no está tan mal, está tranquilo. Y no sé por qué últimamente se ha puesto tan. tan... Um, sí, quién sabe. How many? One. Pero sí, no, el de, el de Maggie está de pelos, ese que ya quisiéramos ese internet. O sea, aquí me dan, no sé, creo que uh, lo más que he oído que alguien tiene es, no sé, 5000, este, ¿cómo los llaman? Bits, este, los, o sea, no sé cuántos megas son realmente, de lo que he visto cuando aparece lo del, um, bitrate, perdón, cuando aparece lo del bitrate aquí, de lo que me da un servidor, um, por lo general, a mí se me traba cuando hablo con un amigo de Corea y de demás. Oh, look at that. Uh, I, most of the time, don't have much problems with, uh, many problems with, with when I talk with Maggie. Sometimes when we play, but sometimes. Europa es lo mejor. <laughs> sí, Europe. <clears throat> when I, um, when I'm with, um, no, when I was looking at that, at uh, the, the bit right here, They would give me three thousand of bit rate at most, and for Maggie it's like ten <laughs> thousand. It's like it's such a big difference. It's like wow. I wish. Ah, ok. No es que dije, ah, es la reacción de que fue. Ah, lol, I remember that. Yeah, exactly. When we were trying to make um, And Maggie also wants to stream, and, and she has done it successfully, I think, once. <laughs> and the other times, oh my god, I don't know. I know next time. Next time that we do it, we will do it fine. No, well, you, you have. By yourself, one time, really successfully, pretty successfully. There was a little bit of drops, but it was your computer doing something weird. But it was good, nevertheless. I finished some more things in OBS. Oh, that's great! That's very good, my love. That sounds great. And, um... Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, but when we have streamed together, when we have been playing games... It's been uh, two times that it has worked. Once when we played Portal, it was good. And the first time we played... Uh, mm, this, um, ah, uh, Borderlands 2. That one was good. Uh, I gotta get a night. Mogvat. <laughs> well, I don't know how to use those. I really want to know how to use the stupid robots. Well, the, the bots. I don't know how to do it. Speaking of Borderlands, Bojer, Borderlands. What? What about Borderlands? Who has talked about Borderlands? We need to keep playing Borderlands. We are so low. <laughs> We need more. <laughs> Necesitamos jugar más Borderlands porque si estamos muy abajo de nivel. You are so low in the level. Si, sí, mira, cada dos minutos estoy haciendo un drop de, de cuadros por una razón. Who knows why. A guy in Sam's stream gifted me a one tier sub. Oh, so I know the vault symbol next to my name. Ah, uh, there's a work here and I don't know why. Because it's only for him. You're sub to him. 
So that's why it appears for him. When I was, uh, someone did the same for me for the for my uh, you know Paxila stream. I have a friend who also streams. No sé lo quieren checar este un cuate que se llama Paxila en en Twitch. Y él es un cuate suyo me también. He a friend of him also gave me a one tier sub and I had his little icon next to me. And, uh, and an emoji, uh, and an emoji that he has for those subs. And uh, but if I go to somewhere else, I can't. Uh, I won't have that uh, little icon. But I have the emoji. Maybe you have an emoji right now that you can use and uh, that you never had before. But you see them in other people's streams. Oh, really? Oh, wow, show me. See. <laughs> oh, wow, that's so cute. I see. It's so, it's so little. I was even like, oh, music. oh, look at that fish. That looks so cute. Wow. I don't know, I don't know how you do it. To be... Oh my god, I'm falling asleep. <laughs> He's tiny. <laughs> uh, very nice. So, well, I think I should go. And we will be... Uh, seeing us next time on... Uh, my Hanip Kut. On the... Um, yeah, on Wednesday, and I will play Hunting Grounds. Uh, that game, it's pretty scary. Oh my god, you're, you're gonna like it. I'm sure you're gonna like it. It's really good. It's really good. For Hunting Tower Clock Grounds, yes. I also want to play Clock Tower. I also want to play Clock Tower. I have it. I want to, I want to play Fatal Frame. Fatal frame, fatal frame, fatal, right? Fatal frame. I want to play that game. It's going to be really like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to die so many times. Fucking ghosts. Hmm. <laughs> My little muggle. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Look at this thing. Look at this little. Mm -hmm. <risa> ok, so, muchas gracias por estar acá y oírme hablar en inglés. Lo hubiera leído en parte en español para que te diga, pero creo que lo entendieron bastante bien. Y si fue como de, oye, ¿qué está pasando? Entonces creo que no estuvo mal. I think it was ok by reading it in, in English the story. Chao, oh, chao, chao. Yes, chao, chao. Um, gracias por estar acá. Qué bueno verte también, este Kiwi. No habías estado acá en un ratote. Te voy a para ti. Y Dan, gracias también por estar, qué linda. Uh, thank you all of, of you for being here. Buenas noches, Gabo. Good morning, Sleepy Mogul. <laughs> exactly, for her, it's 5.22 in the morning. Oh, God. I'm also falling asleep. I'm so tired. I've been doing so much today. Uh, what? Así practico mi inglés. Tú échale. Ah, bien. Qué bueno. Okay, well, uh, have a good night. Have a great weekend. Well, the rest of the weekend, it's it's going to be Saturday and Sunday. Have a very nice day. So I hope everything is nice for you. And um, I'll see you later. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Morning, then. Bye-bye. Uh, Nos vemos luego. El miércoles. Hey, señor lag. Espera un segundo. Oh, me estás alojando. Qué buena onda. Gracias. Ya que me voy. <ríe> ya, ya que terminó esto. Ah, ya lo sé. Ni modo. Ya no estaba haciendo gran cosa, amigo. See you. <ríe> Ni modo. Llegaste, llegaste dos horas tarde. <ríe> nah, como si fuera que, que, que te pagó. Que... Pero qué bueno verte por acá. Estaba leyendo una historia en inglés. 
Uh, I was reading a story in English. Uh, I have no mouth and I must scream. As you can see by the title there in the... In, the, in this thing. So... Uh, bye bye. Bye bye. It was good. I, I really liked the story and it was so different from the game. Estaba muy diferente al juego. Este, eh, hasta cierto punto. El, el final es lo mismo, pero... Está, está chido. Está, los dos están padres. Sí, es muy bueno. Si no juega algún día, they play that game on. Uh, it's on Steam. Uh, I have no mouth and I must scream. Really good game. Really interesting story. Really dark. Really sad. Even the good ending, it's kind of sad. So, anyway. Gra gracias por alojarme. Qué buena onda. Déjame ver una cosa. Y lo loco es que no me apareció nada aquí de que me están alojando ni nada de eso. Me debió haber aparecido esto, ¿no? Ah, esto debió haber aparecido y no lo vi. ¿Por qué? Ahí está. No sé por qué no salió eso. Hey, 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 with one view. Gracias, qué buena onda, en serio. Thank you very much. That's so sweet of you, dude. That's very sweet of you, dude. En el 97, porque naciste en el 97. Buen año, buen año. So anyway, mm, good night, nos vemos luego, chao señor lag, eh, que descanses, ya nos veremos en el, el miércoles, los miércoles y viernes hoy es cuando estoy streameando, como por, no sé a qué horas, a las 6, 7, pero bueno, chao, 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 bye bye, gracias, chao.